one big difference that you'll see between us and photographers is the amount of gear that we take. It is ridiculous. <laughs> so much gear. can't find the house number. It's looking a bit wet out there. We've got an outdoor ceremony today, so hoping that it clears up, they do have a backup. You often find that if there is a good wet weather backup, they don't need it. So hopefully that'll be the case today. Should just turn the light on. Every customer that comes through, we've got to kind of educate them as to what wedding video is and how good it can be. A lot of people, they watch our stuff and they say things like, I had no idea that wedding video could be like this. Uh, I think they're preconceived idea maybe is is of what wedding video was 10 years ago and lots of stories of mishaps where people have decided to get a family member or a friend do it and they've run out of batteries or uh, one guy told me a story that they sat down to watch their wedding video that his uh, stepdaughter he married into uh, having a stepdaughter she had done the recording for them on a, on a handy cam he said oh yeah I was thinking of contacting you um, yeah, but in the end, I, I thought, you know, I'd, I'll spend the money that we would have spent on you on getting our own camera. And I uh, said, oh yeah, how'd that work out for you? And he said, oh, well, we sat down to watch our video and everyone was sitting there in front of the screen and the video came on and everyone's looking at the screen and we all went. Everything's got its right place to be. Uh, we always say that you know, we're capturing people's big day and how important it is. And I think we realise how important it is probably more so than the people who book us at that time. I got a question for you, Dave, actually. Who did you get to shoot your wedding? That's not a good question. Uh, I got married before I got into doing video. So I do have a video and some friends shot it. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm a walking example. <laughs> I wish we'd known more back then. How's the weather looking now? It's still clear. It stays that way. Carrie's just reading a card in there, I'm not sure if it's right. Oh, is she? You guys had cards for each other and stuff, didn't you? Carrie? <laughs> no crying. <laughs> Carrie, the day is here, the day that we've finally become man and wife. I'm so excited to make you my wife. I love you with all my heart and I've enjoyed every single second spent with you. You've been so amazing to me, always caring about me, sometimes before yourself. You make me a better person. I'm so grateful for, for you and how you make me feel. You truly are a wonderful, beautiful person. I love you so much, sweetie. I've always trust you. I mean, I know this is going to be interesting now going towards the ceremony. I've, we always ask 
ahead of time for the bride and groom to check with their officiant, their celebrant or priest or whoever's running it. Um, we ask them to check that they'll wear a microphone. I'm Dave, how are you going? So I understand um, these guys asked you about wearing a mic. Okay, and um, can we take a line out? Okay. That's... Plan B, inside. <laughs> Leave the, leave the house in the morning and then um, eight, ten hours before you get to eat again. Um, and then, I mean, it's not even guaranteed. Like, you get, <laughs> get your table at the reception and, and they then decide they're not going to feed you or they put your plate out and then speeches gets announced and or the band eats all your food. Um, what a day. It's just like so typical. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Shoot all the stuff, everything set up. Like he, like I had the boys. The boys arrived, walking out, come come around the corner, and they were carrying all the stuff. And then like the guys have got the signs, and I glide along the site with the sign. And then the groom's got the box, and then the boys are setting up the stands and everything, the signage. And and then the groom comes and he puts the two cabbage patch dolls down. And then I had later went back and got a shot of him like fixing them and stuff, like everything. We have to throw it all away. Like, you can't use any of it in the edit. Doing weddings like every weekend, especially at the moment, it's been really um, busy and hard, like on myself and my girlfriend as well. Yeah. But I just, I don't know, like, say, you know, five years down the track with, you know, marriage or kids or that kind of thing, if it's something that I could. Um, Something's going on. Ambulance is going everywhere. Hi, is that Tiffany? Hi, Tiffany. It's Dave Cowling here from DNM Wedding Films. How are you? Yeah, I'm really, really sorry to hear uh, what's happened with. We often say that there are things that are said on the wedding day that are never said. People say things to you during speeches that they may never have said and may never say again. Stuff in there about the future and he even repeats himself at the end sort of thing almost. So talking about the future, it's pretty, yeah, so I'm pretty bad. Yeah, but yeah, we were saying there's definitely a different feel today you know, with the news of, of Nathan passing yesterday and I mean, it's certainly affected us. Particularly, uh, I know it's affected Christy and Ian and I just because we, we worked on the wedding um, and got to know him with all the pre-shooting and stuff as well. So it's just, I don't know, it's probably made a bit of a different feel to today. Probably usually a bit more upbeat and <laughs> happy, but you know, a bit more solemn today. After 300 meters, take the second right.
I did a three month tour across Canada and the States. Um, that was years ago, that was like 96, 97. In that particular trip, my favourite part of that trip was Old Montreal. I wanted the, uh, the whole white Christmas. I was staying with a friend on Vancouver Island and Christmas Eve, not even, not a sign of snow anywhere. Like it was, it was like, oh well, I'm not gonna get it. Um, and then we woke up Christmas morning and it was just covered, like they'd had a massive downpour overnight. And, uh, it was a cool experience. Just the prevalence of video in, in society today, you know, like the amount of video that's uploaded to YouTube every day. You know, I think that future generations are going to expect that this generation will have recorded their wedding day and their major events like this. about 680 weddings or something that I've shot now, so that takes its toll. And I'm not as young as I used to be. You know, I spent a lot of time training up my team and we'll spend more time training up new guys and you know, I have every confidence in, in them and uh, that they can do as good if not better job than I can. future is we're going to get up and do this all again tomorrow.